Alrighty. Um, this one, we're going to talk about physics for custom meshes and stuff like that. Um, just kind of a disclaimer to that. It is not custom physics. It is utilizing the physic, um, the physics from existing plots and uh, sets from Elden Ring, but on custom meshes. So um, it does get the job done, and it is certainly quite a leap in um, progress on that front of things and you can kind of make you can make it work for just about anything honestly um you'll need the basic stuff for modding um if you haven't watched any of my other videos on models or uxm mod engine that kind of stuff i recommend that maybe you do um because i'm not going to cover every single little thing here um, leading up to this process but um Effectively, you're going to need Blender, the tool for source um, import, source material importing. Um, you'll need the fiber tools, blood, Bloodborne tool to convert your um, in-game models to source. Um, you'll need the fiber editor program, Yabber, all that kind of stuff. So... Um, with that being said, we'll go ahead and get into it. Um, actually, I'd be remiss to not give a shout out really quick to the community of people that worked pretty hard to um, figure out and kind of like present this information to us for us to be able to kind of like work through it. So big shout out to the people in my Discord server and um, those who have helped figure it out and kind of get it to us but uh now with that being said we'll go ahead and get into it um what i have done here is i have kind of laid out a couple of things i have my mod folder um up here on the top left i've got the fiber tools for converting the uh, fibers to source and then i've got a folder over here for like the stuff i'm working on um for this example, we're going to be using BDM2125. That is the Azure Glintstone Robes from um, Elden Ring. The reason we're using that is because it has what we need for applying physics to something. It has cloth bones. Um, so we'll kind of like show that in a second. And then we're using the Firekeeper set from Dark Souls 3 as our um, dummy set or test set for pushing the physics over to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our fresh um, Azure robes here. We're going to kind of crack into it. And then we're going to open up the fiber here. So we've got this big old mess here. Um, what we're going to do is, since we don't want all of this we just want some of it what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go to mesh here and we're gonna click check on all of these things um, the stuff that we want to use for our physics is actually gonna be this top one right here um, it's got like these it's like the, the set of robes underneath it's it looks like it's got like cape to it it's got it hangs on the front there it's got little top capes um, like little flappy flappies or whatever so we're actually going to go ahead and click all of the other things and look and see what they are but what we're going to do is we don't need any of these other ones but we're going to click check just to kind of look through it and show you that process there we don't need any of those the only stuff that we want is the very top one so we're going to click delete all and then just uncheck the top one here because that's the one we want to keep and then we're going to go down to delete face sets only uh, you do not want to delete everything you want to delete face sets, so make sure you click this box before you go and click modify um, now we have just this basic set here uh, just the under bits get this little nice top bit here um, you get like the kind of back of the dress kind of look there um, and it'll work quite nicely because it has a lot of cloth bones. Um, so what we're going to do now uh, is we're going to just back up 
out of this. We'll modify it again, make sure it's all saved and good or whatever. We're going to take this fiber here that we've have edited and we're going to drop it on our Bloodborne tool. And that's going to convert it to a source material. Um, we're going to just put that on our desktop for ease of access. We're going to delete the ASCII. I don't need that. Um, and then we will go ahead and open up Blender. Now this is probably the most involved part of the process. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it, but then I'm going to pull out a pre-done example uh, so that you don't have to sit here and watch me rename a bunch of stuff. So we're going to import source engine on desktop 2125. It'll kind of take a sec. There it goes. And we are going to just take a gander at it. And what we're going to do is we will go ahead and let's go to pose mode here. Just to kind of like show how this works. Um, so every thing that has cloth bones will have things like this. Let's see here, right here, cloth robe five. So everything that has a cloth bone will work like this. We'll go ahead and go to rotation and we're gonna just kind of whip it around here. So the way that the physics works is it's kind of like very loosely weighted stuff to a cloth bone and depending on how that bone moves with your character, it moves the cloth accordingly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize those on our own custom meshes. So what you need to do at this point is you need to go into all of the bones and you need to rename all of the cloth bones. So I'm just kind of opening up all of these so that you can see them. So we'll start at the top here. Cloth, it's got these little underscores. You don't want them to be underscores, you want them to be little brackets. So you're just gonna go in and you're gonna put in these little brackets around it. Um, and then you'll do the same thing for every single cloth bone in here. So it's gonna, you're gonna want it to just look like that. Um, so I'm not gonna do that for every single one because that'll take a little while, but that's what you wanna do. And when you are done with it, excuse me, and we'll open up one that is complete here. I have one saved already for that. Um, we want Azure, no, Azure Robe renamed Bones, which is this one. What it's gonna look like, it's gonna look like this, where all of them are renamed with the brackets. And once you have done this a few times, or you already know how Blender works well and stuff like that, you don't have to rename every single cloth bone that you don't want. Um, you can just rename the ones that you want to work, um, and that might save you a bit of trouble with maybe a cloth bone that you don't want adding weight or something to your mesh. Um, but I haven't really encountered a ton of issues by just using everything so far. Um, but this is not a deeply intimate explanation of the process. This is just kind of like working through um, how, it, how it goes and that kind of thing. So um, with that being said, everything here is done. This one's, I've renamed it all, it's all there. So we're gonna go ahead now and we are going to grab our um, Firekeeper robe set. So I'm gonna unpack that, and then we will open it up and go all the way into its fiber and kind of just make sure we can see what's going on here. Um, one thing uh, for the sake of the video and not having to like fix any weight stuff, I'm actually going to probably get rid of the sleeves um, just because they, for some reason get caught up on stuff and I don't want to like go through the process of reweighting and do that stuff for the video. So whatever, right? Um, so that looks good. That's what we were expecting it to be. We're going to grab that fiber. We're going to convert that to a source material as well. And we'll drop that over on our desktop. And then we will go into our blender here and then we'll import that now. Back to desktop. 
blah, 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 blah. Take a second. Great. Um, what I'm going to do too is I am going to think about looking at all of these meshes here. So I'm actually going to hide all of the robe one up on the top so I can see ours more clearly here. And I'm going to get rid of any duplicate looking meshes in here because I don't really know why it does that. So like this extra belt on the inside, I'm going to get rid of that. This extra cloth on the inside, I'm going to get rid of that. And then this extra cloth on the inside, I'm going to get rid of that as well. Um, I'm not sure why it does that, but I'm just going to clean it up a little bit so we don't have a bunch of extra meshes and things getting more uh, weights and things applied to them than we need. Um, and then the sleeves, I'm just going to cut those out too because I don't really care for the sleeves that much. And for the sake of this, the less is more for kind of explaining. So we'll get rid of those, no problems. Um, and then we will... Go ahead and double check on these meshes. Just look at the modifier there. Make sure that it has um, the armature modifier from the ladder set. So from the 2125, looks like it does. So we don't really need to do anything there. Um, I'll go ahead and show this one again here. The next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to transfer the um, mesh data the weight data and whatnot from this set to our firekeeper set so we will select the entirety of our firekeeper set here and then we're going to control click on our azure robes mesh there and then go to object and then we will go to link and transfer data transfer mesh data vertex groups and then we will do all layers here and then we will go ahead and select our Azure robes again. And then we're actually gonna go into edit mode. And then we are gonna select X and we are going to delete the faces so that we don't have that when we export. Um, then what we can do now is we can go back into object mode and you can kind of select your meshes in weight paint and um, see how the data transferred over if you really want to kind of see what's up uh, i'm gonna assume that for like the robe bit here the cape bit yeah so we've got the cape bits are transferred over here um pretty nice it looks like um there may there's 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 almost always going to be some um cleanup action that's going to go on here where you're going to want to reweight some stuff to these cloth bones so things kind of function um, more the way that you want, but we can actually go ahead and select pose mode here so we can test um, this process a little bit so you can see, oh, well, did it work or did it not work? So we're going to go to spine and we are going to go to clavicle and sleeve is not one that we have because we got rid of the sleeves, neck, collar, cloth. So here's one of these, we're going to wiggle it, and you can see here there's some, some action. There's some cloth action, boss. So that's that's enough for me to know that that worked out. Um, it's, it's there, it's great. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into object mode here. We're going to turn off auto smoothing um, for the normals on these things. So we'll go... We'll go ahead and work our way through those real quick. Turn off those auto smooths because those make things look not good. We want things to look good. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. So there's, those are all turned off now. Good, great, beautiful. Um, we're gonna go file and then we will export as FBX and we'll just name it um, Fire Keeper FBX. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back 
to our set right here for the Izur set. And we're going to reopen up its fire. And we're going to go to Mesh. We'll select everything and then delete face sets only, modify so it's nice and empty there. The import model. And then we are going to import our. Oh man, we're in our wrong folder. We're going to import the. Um, Firekeeper set. I'm having a bit of a, a bit of a hard time this morning. I don't usually do videos in the morning. Uh, model stuff. Armor. Firekeeper. Oops. Sorry. We can go all the way back here. Actually, it's going to be right here. Firekeeper FBX. Material counts and meshes counts. When you do it with this set, you should have three or four less materials than meshes. It's because it's trying to look for the. Um, Azure set, which you, you deleted. Uh, so that's not really a big issue. Um, there might be some cleanup, uh, and depending on what you do, you might need to check the materials in Blender and make sure that they're all there. Um, but that's not really all that difficult. So we're gonna go into mesh and we're gonna toggle the back face rendering really quick because we want it to look more proper. There you go. And for testing sake what we're gonna do is we are going to not apply all the textures right now we're just gonna go ahead save it now that it's in there and then we're gonna go load it up in game and take a gander at it so all that means is we're gonna just need to repack our 2125 now so I'm gonna move our vanilla clean one out so I don't overwrite it and then I'm actually going to go into this Actually, no, I don't need to do that. I'll just repack it, and then I'm going to rename it to be the uh, replacement for the Ronnie's Snow Witch robes. So we'll have it replace the female version of the Ronnie female Snow Witch robes. So BDF 2200. So we'll copy that, and then we will go into our parts folder for our mods, and then paste it in there, replace it, and then we will go ahead and load up. Sneeze. Oh, sneeze. Damn. Um, we'll go ahead and kill that music. It's a bit of a longer one. I apologize. And it's probably not as um, articulate as some of the shorter, more simple ones. But I, I clicked the wrong button. Uh, I want to change my save, actually. So... Whoopsie daisies. This is my set for character modding, not part modding. Different saves for those, so I don't break things. Load game. Scrub. With the busted up face. Okay. And we'll go ahead and strip down here. And we'll make our way to the round table really quick because we need to change into a female body so that we can put on the female ropes. So enjoy that ass for a moment here. Space table, body type B, finish, yes. All right, all right, all right. And then we'll go to equipment. Ronnie's witch robes. So ignore the textures being a nightmare. It's because it's using the textures from Ronnie's set. It's trying to stretch them all over the place, and it's it's not pretty. Um, or it's using the set from the Azure set. But regardless, um, as you can see here, there are physics um, in place right now. The um, robe is bouncing with the feet so the cape physics themselves i'm probably am not going to need to touch uh, i don't think um that backside looks pretty okay especially when the new uh textures are actually on it and it's not so janky um the robe there you can see is a little bit funky 
um, right in here when you move it kind of stretches that's just going to need some weight painting done um, the hood you can probably isolate the hood a little bit better to not be affected as much by these shoulders and the little cape here um, and then as well with the front there might be a little bit of funky action going on here makes it look like I've got like a nice wiener every time I take a step uh, that would be weight painting as well probably the thigh twist uh, vertex and bone so there are some things to fix there with weight painting but I'm not gonna get deeply into that um, in this video because this video is already running pretty long and this is just to explain how to get that working so um, I can make a video separate on cleaning up some weights and things like that but um, as far as this video goes I think that should pretty much cover you um, especially in the sense of explaining like okay this is what you do how it kind of operates um, this is what you're looking for blah 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 um, if that is helpful um, please drop a like or a sub join our discord um, things there are awesome uh, I wouldn't have been able to bring this to you guys without the discord um, but I'm really hoping that this kind of like spreads like wildfire because uh, there's a lot of really cool armor sets and things out there waiting to be done that have been waiting on physics um, and things like that. This same process can be applied to armor that just has little bits of hanging cloth or like the Artorias set um, where you have like a skirt or a dress hanging down off of the armor. Like it can be used for any of that cloth, um, maybe even tails or wings and all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, if you're really into it, you could maybe do jiggle physics with it or something like that i don't know but um i'll not take up any more of your time but uh thanks so much for watching and hope it was helpful i'll catch you later